I would think you'd only need to do it down to this level. Yes. Stop. Stop. That is scary. <laughs> Jesus. I see what. I'm seeing all kinds of crazy stuff, man. There's witches everywhere. Ghasts and spawning in my face. This is insane. I'm gonna, run over. I'm gonna come over there and jump in front of you and go ooga booga booga booga. Ooga booga 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 booga. Yeah, let me do some farming and see if that helps. Hi, Dojo. Hey, Dojo. Hello. Mother Dojo. trucker, not again. You picked up all the seeds again, too. Yeah, because I have magnet mode on. Let me teach you how to turn magnet mode on. I thought Come I turned here. it on. I swear to God, I got turn it turned it on. on. More. <laughs> yeah, it's on. It's just your magnetic personality, Ari. Yeah. What's up, YouTube? And welcome to the Run Dig Hide server with the Red Dragons Guild. And MC Glenn is here with me, and we're going on an expedition because we need a cow. Is that right, MC Glenn? That is so. And just so everybody knows, this is early access uh, for Run Dig Hide, and this is a, a the newly updated version. And I must say, the PT Noob crew has outdone their self. This is this 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 looks amazing. <laughs> Yeah, I think our option here is to just boot her out of here because they look like they know we're here. Well, let's roll. Double tap that A and boogie on. Let's get on. Oh, pigs. Those guys are too fast. If I don't find no calves, we'll hit them up for food. Shoot fire yet or fast. So I'm, I'm guessing this this mod pack is supposed to make Mad Pack look like Mr. Rogers' neighborhood, huh? Well, sometimes it does. Oh, geez, these guys are right on us. They're not playing around, man. They are not kidding around. So do we have any uh, dirt cow? I see cows right here. Right on. Get critted, cow. No, 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 no. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Well, that was easier than I thought. Sure enough. Let's wander around out here some, see what else we can beat up on. Oh, looky here. More cows? No, ores. I'm glad you got a shovel. You don't want none, zombie. You just stay right over there. I, I told you. Don't mess with me, man. Yeah, them walking dead, they don't hear too well. They got problems with authority is what it is. The <laughs> thing problems. is, they're dead. They shouldn't even be able to smell you either. And that slime sure is moving fast. Yeah, what is that thing? Like an ectoplasm thing or something? Oh, is that what that is? There's some iron gravel over here. <laughs> Cave. Oh boy, my temperature sure is a rising. Wow, looks like the iron gravel mother load over here. your back brother
I'd say that's some note. Oh, and it looks like we better haul back because it is nighttime. Yeah, let's go ahead and start heading back. MC Glenn disappeared right in front of my eyes. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Woo. MC Glenn? I didn't realize you, uh, you doubled as a David Blaine. Indeed. <laughs> oh, YouTube is going to tear us apart for teleporting. You know that, right? Well, part of the pack. If it wasn't in the pack, then I wouldn't use it. <laughs> <laughs> but you got to be opt on the server to do that, MC Glenn. Imagine that now. It appears that everybody on the server's off, so I guess it's even Steven. <laughs> so says MC Glenn. MC Glenn said, and and it was that chunk error, though. Load chunks. As I always say, you play your game your way, I'll play mine mine. If we if we didn't have so much at stake, folks. And I mean, we're playing on Scrub Core anyway, so it ain't like uh It's a dev pack, so we've got to try to stay long, long enough to find some things that are wrong, if there's anything. Yep, that's exactly right. We are helping dev the pack for the PT Noob crew. And I must say, they're coming along pretty good clip uh, from the last update. It's a huge improvement already. And I'm sure you guys can see that the uh, the first video I uploaded was from the old update or from the old version, and this is the new update, and it is so 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 much better already. Yeah, and they've done a nice job. Did you get any leather out of that? I certainly enough did. I got one. Oh, that's all we need. Because I got five, and I think it takes six to make that um, uh, seed bag, doesn't it? Here, I'm throwing it on your body right now. Maybe I need to turn mob sounds back off. That's yeah, mad this loud. Just, this building surround it. We can never be able to get out of here without teleporting. So, Farmageddon 2.0, huh? Coming right along. Well, it's getting there. We got our magical crops processing station set up. And we've already got eight Zavisio, which is looking good there. So, this will become obsolete once we get Master Infusion Stone, but for now it works. I'm gonna go get my hammer since we're done beating on mobs. a sag mill for I don't know anything about ender IO use that for processing ores um, if you run an iron through the sag mill I think it gives you uh, so many percent chance of it'll give you your two powder but it'll oh. also maybe give you I think maybe sulfur or something oh wow okay and four Sounds good. Yeah. It, for certain ores, it'll give you the max of whatever you can get out of it. You even get some cobble back sometimes. Oh, wow. Which makes sense. If the ore is made up of cobble and made up of uh, the ore material, too, uh, you should get a little of it back. Yeah, no doubt. So... The deal with this pack is, I'm sure you can see, we have Envira Mine, 
there on the right and um, those bars are temperature, water, um, uh, oxygen level, and sanity. So there's that. And then you saw how many mobs and mobs spawning during the daytime and all that. And then MC Glenn, you want to explain how the blood moon works real quick? Yeah, the blood moon, when it comes on, it just intensifies the mob spawn. Those mobs you've seen there this time, you could pretty much double that or maybe even triple it. And and also more special mobs, like there, you'd have seen witches in the, during the blood moon and the fallen knights. And the spiders, you don't stand a chance out there in the blood moon. And there's the off chance that they could spawn in here or or break in. Goodness. We found out since we started this world that a steel door doesn't mean nothing to them. Wow. That's saying something there for sure. The old uh, fence gate trick. No, that don't work. The one thing that the pack did have was the sky, everything would turn red during the blood moon. Well, that, that's been taken out of this pack. And, okay. Uh, the only thing you get now is a message at the bottom of the screen saying the blood moon's rising. And the fact that you notice that there's a lot more mobs around. Spooky sound. I need some torches. Oh, here's some coal. Lucky. Lucky me. Spooky Sam. It's as spooky like is in voices or are you is your insanity your sanity down? Or? No, it's that that like random Minecraft um uh sound that it makes sometimes. Oh, similar to the one when you're near a cave. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I got that part of that turned down a little bit. That's ambient, I think, noise. Yeah, I turned it down because of the when the thunder comes. Yeah, when you drop your your uh, oxygen level there for your air, this tree that's over here, <laughs> uh -huh. it's a lifesaver. Is that All right? You do a step step right over by that, and you'll see it shoot right back up to a hundred. How do we? How do you recover sanity? That's a that's a thing that I haven't had to deal with yet. Yeah, um, that chest that you took the essence out of, check that or the two below it for a flower and put that in your hot bar. Oh. I keep it there all the time now because it helps. We oh, got to okay. get some more flowers so we can put some around this tree because I've been finding this tree helps a lot too. So far, since we started this world, the thing that I find drives it up the fastest is if a flower in your hand and stand on those mushrooms up there by the garden area. Right. This is extremely dangerous what I'm doing right now. And gardening will put it up too. It'll that'll put it up. The you know fastest. that's that's something that I noticed uh, from playing uh, the other the other day. Uh, that video I made, I noticed my sanity kept recovering, and I didn't know why, and now I know why. Because I was just, I was cropping magical crops the whole time. Yeah, works wonders. I think it also helps for your uh, your oxygen level. You down there playing with the lava? Oh, no, I was just just breaking some blocks, trying to trying to find a good mine, mine shaft uh -huh. sort of area to get... I'm thinking, I'm thinking about uh, staircasing down somewhere in this area. But maybe not, I don't know. There's already a staircase over here. I could just go down and flatten out the bedrock area, I guess. Yeah, that's tore apart pretty bad down at the bottom of this one. So. Yeah, there's a lot of lava down there. I almost killed myself right to start with. 
Actually, I've got a pretty decent mine started down here. If you want to come check it out. Yeah, let's 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 get let's get with that. Then I can I can start doing some work. So bedrock in this pack is perfectly flat. What what kind of level are you looking at for diamonds? I usually go between six and ten. You've had good luck with that. Oh, there's Pam's Harvest Craft in this pack. Nice. I like that. I like that mod. That bedrock fog, though. Jesus. So is this your? These are your shafts here. Well, this this is where I started it, but here's the new one over here. Gotcha. Um, if you go. Oh God! <laughs> you come out See of the, the dark. Difference. Just coming up one block. Yeah. Sure enough. It does make a difference. So this is this is the level I'm going to mine from now on. Uh, bring your map up if your cave section's on. You'll see what I mean. You'll see what I mean about nothing showing up on the map. So yeah. I'm thinking now taking this tunnel here and branching off in this direction. I had to get that gold. It was mocking me. Yeah, I was full when I left it there. <laughs> Some more ores. Oh, look at that redstone. I think I got a fortune pick here. That little adventure we made did last night down in the tunnels, my armed mob and I. Oh, yeah. We, uh,. We found a lot of spawners and took them out and got some nice goodies. Yeah, I put uh, I put lapis on this hammer. So now, are you just trying to go uh, straight shaft, or you want to maybe branch down here, or what? Have you seen um, how Wild does his mines? Wild? Oh no, I haven't actually. What he does is he puts three blocks in between. Well, I'm going to more or less, that's uh, what I, I was going to do, but when you're doing three by threes, it's kind of hard to replicate. So my plan is now just uh, to start tunneling on this tunnel here, do a three by three, leave two spaces, do another three by three, and just keep going straight. Stand by, I'm trying to get to you. So right here, you want to do another branch right here. You're saying leave two and go another branch? Yeah, that way we can see both sides of this wall up the right. middle here. And now going in this direction earlier, about 30... 30, 40 blocks in, I've been finding a lot of diamonds, so it's not a bad area. Oh, that lag. Hammer is beast. Ooh, hello lava. Burn up all my stuff. Dang it. All because of MC Glenn's magnet mode. It burn up everything. Oh, you, you haven't turned your magnet mode on yet? Uh I I just don't never I don't ever really turn magnet mode on. I don't know why. I'm a purist, I guess. A little bit. Yeah, I forgot to grab my dev and I'm filling up. <laughs> Stupid gravel. Well, I got the trifecta. Dirt, gravel, and sand. All right in your face. I keep doing that. I'm going to need to eat pretty soon here. I don't have any food on me.
Yes, sir. Run dig hide on the Red Dragons Guild server. And me and MC Glenn are just going to mine and mine and farm magical crops and mine some more. And I'm going to watch this cobblestone do a stupid dance trying to get to MC Glenn. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this has been Mr. Giblets and MC Glenn from the Run Dig Hide server with the Red Dragons Guild. Remember, folks, this is exclusive early access uh, for Red Dragons Guild. Um, as soon as I know what the release date is, and if they ever tell me what the release date is, I might not be special enough to know. But if I find out what it is, I will definitely let you guys know. And you want to play this pack. It is amazing. Um, just like we said earlier, it makes Mad Pack look like Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood. So um, be sure and check out more Run Dig Hide from the Red Dragons Guild server. This has been Mr. Giblets. Peace and chicken grease upon your face.